the cost of fear. I am honored that you chose to join me on this channel. Let's get to it. Lack of trust breaks down to losing individually and collectively. There's a recurring question that is asked time after time. That question is how to achieve ebony empowerment. As complex as the question may be, the solution is quite simple. Work and being comfortable with doing it to start. You see, many other ethnicities have and continue to show their blueprint for how they come together for a common cause. And it seems that the ones who pose the question, what's the solution? Either are not interested in doing the work when the, when the solution is told to them, are really not interested in, com in coming together or ebony empowerment, which is the same thing, and or are not paying attention to what's clearly right in their faces. You see, the other ethnicities that do come together hate each other as much as anyone else because hate is a human thing. The caveat is that they put those differences and issues with another on the back burner handle business, and then continue the internal issues with each other at a later time. They also develop and stay on code. Being on code, mean, simply put, means to not tear down someone that is working for the greater good. Essentially, not being a crab in a bucket. Fear also produces envy hatred at another who is in or on their purpose. What is the cost of fear? Unnecessary death, famine of all sorts, self-hatred to name a few, and all from a lack of trust. Trust in themselves to be better the wherewithal to want to be better and trust others. So as long as trust is void, so will any harmony. Having a general conversation, a male and a female mentioned that when they trusted people, that they were treated badly and allowed that, that one or two instance to sour them against trust. That was their second mistake. Their first one was not vetting properly the person to gauge whether or not the individual deserved their trust. One cannot trust blindly and expect another to have their set or level of morality, integrity, and ethics. Tell me in the comment sections your thoughts. I look forward to reading and responding to them. Here's the question of the day. Have your fears motivated you to be better? Or have they caused you so, so much trouble that you are now gun shy? If you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, please subscribe, like, and tap that bell to all to be notified when I go live. Thank you again for tuning in, my friend and foe, because it makes me smile, not frown to know that my message massage show mentors are like a rental you checked in and out. Truth, reality is what this channel's about. I am R. Akila Bomani for Rasta's Realities. Peace to you.